Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. I also talk about celebrities and the particular products that they use. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. In this video, we'll be talking about the beautiful and talented Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato is a talented singer and actress. And we first came to know her from the Disney Channel. And it seems like we've known Demi all of her life. We've seen her from a young girl to now a grown up and beautiful and talented adult. A lot of you have been asking me for Demi Lovato for years now, and I'm finally getting to analyze this beautiful woman. Everything I say here in this video is my opinion only. I don't have proof or receipts that the celebrity has had any of the procedures done that we talk about them having. Never use my video as a way to shame or expose celebrities. Please know that there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. I've had my own plastic surgery, and this video should never be construed as criticism towards the celebrity for having any type of work done. We're all aware of the pressures out there today just for a regular person. Now imagine that you're a celebrity and what kind of pressure that is on you to look a certain way or to be a certain size. Let's get started. Demetra Devon Lovato was born on August 20th, 1992 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Her parents are Diana De La Garza, a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, and Patrick Lovato, an engineer and musician. Now Demi has siblings. She has an older sister named Dallas and a younger half-sister, actress Madison De La Garza, as well as an older half-sister, Amber. Demi connected with when she was 20 years old. Now Demi was raised in Dallas, Texas, and she started playing the piano at the age of seven and picked up the guitar at the age of 10. Now alongside her musical pursuits, she delved into dancing and acting classes. Now in 2002, Demi actually embarked on her first acting job by joining the cast of Barney and Friends, a popular children's television series. Her television appearances continued with roles on Prison Break and Just Jordan. Demi's acting career did bring some challenges where she encountered bullying in her preteen and teen years, which led her to opt for homeschooling. Now, despite the hardships, she persevered and did successfully earn her high school diploma. Now, Demi is most famous for her multifaceted career because she is a singer, songwriter, and actress. This girl is really talented. And although she gained prominence from the Disney Channel, as a musician, Demi has been actually very successful with numerous chart-topping hits. And those really showcased her powerful voice. What's most impressive to me is Demi is known for her advocacy work. She's actively raising awareness for mental health and for body positivity. Let's talk about Demi's natural beauty traits. The first characteristic I notice about Demi are her gorgeous lips. They are shaped so beautifully with a distinct cupid's bow. I also love her friendly hooded eyes and of course, her beautiful smile. Did you know that Demi actually started out with a gap tooth smile? Look how cute she looked. Unfortunately though, when she signed to contract with Disney, the Disney Channel heavily suggested that she change her smile, which had Demi getting either cosmetic dentistry or Invisalign or a combination of both so that it closed up her gap, which is so unfortunate because I just think it's so cute and fitting. Now, next we're gonna talk about Demi's possible facial plastic surgery work. And before we go into it, I would like to make a note to the audience that I noticed that in the last couple videos, the audience, you, have not really been seeing the changes that I'm trying to show you. So for this video and possibly for others, I'm going to go more into the changes so you can see what I see. Now a certain percentage of you will still not see the changes, although this is an analysis video. It's never my goal to convince you of anything that I see. I'm simply telling you what I see on that celebrity's face or body. Whether you believe it is completely up to you and that's not the goal of this video at all. 
but I will go more into depth about the particular changes that I see and how you can recognize them as well. Now, the first procedure that I do notice is a rhinoplasty. Now, I noticed that she had an absolutely seamlessly done rhinoplasty. They kept the shape of her nose. In fact, you see all the distinct shape to her nose still there in the after. Now, I also see that there was some shaving down done to Demi's tip to make it more defined. And this is quite obvious here where from this view, the nose is now refined and more sculpted, where prior it was slightly more bulbous. Now, how do I know that this was a rhinoplasty? Because her whole nose has been narrowed. What generally happens with this type of rhinoplasty is not too much shaving is done to the actual cartilages of the nose, but the actual nose bones are broken and brought closer together. Now, what this did for Demi was make a nose that fits more in between her eyes than her previous nose. Now, is having a nose that fits in between your eyes a beauty goal? No, it is not. But for some reason, a lot of these celebrity nose jobs have the nose fitting right in between the eyes, really narrowing the width of the nose. Now you may say that Demi started using makeup to contour her nose, which is true, but contour alone doesn't account for this change to her nose because contour alone cannot make your nose base look more narrow. Now with this nose base change, this was also likely a base reduction to her nose where wedges of the nostrils were taken and removed and then the two sides of the nostrils were sewn together, making the whole base of her nose look more narrow. Something else I see here is that surgeons shave the bone down in between her eyes, the upper part of the nose, making it more narrow. And this narrowed area allows the eyes to stand out more and look larger. We do have a sponsor for today's video and you guys, I am so happy that this sponsor is back. Please, please support them. It really helps the channel. Please welcome Scentbird back to the channel. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to choose from over 600 fragrance brands. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance each month for only $17. You choose the new designer fragrances you want each month so there are no surprises. And they are also flexible and allow you to skip months with no penalties. They carry the top designer fragrance brands that are the actual perfumes like Burberry, Versace, and Gucci. Designer fragrances that I want to try but would rather not pay full price for. Semper gives you a 30-day supply so that you can try out the fragrances. And if you like it and you run out, then you can buy a full bottle at a discount. Semper is perfect for you if you're like me and you like to try new fragrances without committing to a full-size expensive bottle. It's also perfect if you're like me and you get tired of fragrances quickly. They also offer a quiz that you can take to figure out which fragrances they have that will best serve your personal taste. And the bottles that the fragrances come in are much larger than traditional perfume samples. This is the bottle that it comes in and all you do is slide the slider to the on position and spray it. Now this month I received Folly Dune Sor by Gautal, Revolution de la Flore by Sana Gardin, and Oula Rouge by Christian Soriano. Now out of these, my absolute favorite that I'll be adding to my perfume rotation is the Oula Rouge by Christian Soriano. It's both floral and musky, and it's like this playful scent, but it's also very sensual and seductive, so it's perfect for either day or nighttime. Semperd is offering my subscribers 55% off their first month. That's just $7 for your first month. If you'd like to give it a try, just click the link down below in my description box and put in code HILL55 to get 55% off your first month at Semperd. Thank you so much to Semperd for coming back and being our sponsor again. And an even bigger thank you to all of you out there who helped to support this channel by supporting my sponsor. Now moving on, let's go to Demi eyes. Now look at her eyes when she was younger. Do you notice that there's almost no lid reveal and there's a full upper brow pad that hangs over her eyes, making them 
beautifully hooded. I absolutely love hooded eyes. Now, do you notice as she gets older, that hood is removed? And although we still see a pretty full upper brow pad, we now see that there's been an upper eyelid reveal. Demi may have had an upper blepharoplasty. Take a look at this photo where there's a bit of lax excess skin to Demi's upper eyelid. Now take a look at this photo where that skin is gone. Now it's going to be especially hard to see in Demi's case because she does wear makeup on her upper eyelid which is why we are zooming in so close to the eyelids so that you can really see the changes. Take a look at another before and after. Again, zooming into the eye area. Here is the hooded upper lid I'm seeing. Notice that she does have full eyeliner, shadow, and lashes on here. Notice that we see almost no upper eyelid reveal. Now let's zoom into the after photo where we see the hooded upper eyelid is gone and there is more, much more, upper eyelid reveal here. Notice that she is still wearing full eyeliner, shadow, and lashes in the after. Yet, there is still more upper eyelid show than in the before photo. Disney and other channels are infamous for doing these young blepharoplasties. I don't know who decided that hooded eyes were just not it, but if you look at some of their other young stars, you'll see that there's been a blepharoplasty or a brow lift done to them as well at a very early age. Now I see here there's been some change to Demi's lips. Demi's beautiful and petite lips have been changed. It looks like she's gotten upper and lower lip filler. Now it looks like it started in 2019 and it went on for multiple years to present day. Now to me, this lip filler is so unneeded because I love Demi's lips, but it's also clear to me that her goal was just to have larger lips overall and she didn't mind if the shape was somewhat altered to get these larger lips. It does look like there's been a pretty big amount of lip filler added to her upper and lower lips. I think she's made the trade-off for the beautiful shape of her lips and exchanged that for the size of her lips. And sometimes that'll happen. With enough lip filler, you can drastically change the natural shape of your lip. And unfortunately, if you've done years of lip filler, once you dissolve, most often that delicate lip skin will not go back to its previous shape. Now take a look at Demi's under eyes, in particular when she was younger. Do you notice that there's a normal under eye here? And by normal, I mean there's a delineation between her lower lid and where the cheek starts. Now do you see that later here in particular, there is no longer a delineation between the two. This, I believe, is under eye filler. I believe that Demi had a dermal filler placed to her under eyes to completely remove the delineation between her lower lid and her cheek. I love Demi's strong lower jaw, but over the years, I've noticed it's become less prominent in the progression photos. Now, comparing 2013 to 2023, it's evident that Demi's masseters have been significantly reduced, leading me to believe that Botox injections may be the cause. Botox injected into the masseter muscles will shrink them over time, and it's not always just an aesthetic choice. It can also help for other reasons besides the way that the masseters look. Now let's go to Demi's teeth. As we talked about earlier, Disney had her get rid of her gap tooth smile and this probably led to Demi getting veneers or crowns as that's what I see on her teeth. I believe I see six veneers or crowns to her teeth. Demi also may have had some Invisalign treatment to straighten out her teeth and really make them in line prior to getting veneers. Now let's talk about any body plastic surgery that Demi may have had done. Looking at Demi, I do think that she may have had breast implants done. And these breast implants are quite subtle and fit her body frame very well, which would make them pretty hard to detect. 
but I do see a difference because of how voluminous her breasts are and how much upper pole fullness there are to them that these are implants. Some of you may think that this is due to weight gain, but I do see this size of breasts stable after 2017. Whether she goes up or down in weight, they look to stay the same size, which is generally a giveaway of it being implants. Now, Demi has had very public struggles with an ED, so I would like there to be no comments about her body shape or size below. And even the comments we make about changes to her body are not veiled criticisms. She is beautiful and her body is beautiful. I don't want any kind of negativity in the comments. I'll delete those if I see them. Let's add up all of Demi's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures. Rhinoplasty, 15,000. Upper blepharoplasty, 8,000. Lip filler for multiple years, 5,000. Under eye filler for multiple years, 5,000. Botox to masseters, 5,000. Cosmetic dentistry, braces or both, 25,000. Breast implants, 15,000. Total cost, $78,000. Let's talk about Demi's stance on embracing one's authentic self and how that plays into having plastic surgery. It's a very nuanced opinion I have, but I believe that you can have plastic surgery and still love yourself. Conversely, you can have plastic surgery and hate yourself too. I think that plastic surgery is just one tool that you can use in your self-esteem arsenal. It can be used for good or bad. You can do harm to yourself, or you can make yourself feel good. I think that you yourself being introspective about the reasons why you want plastic surgery or why you have plastic surgery is very important. What is your relationship with yourself? How do you feel about yourself? If you're using plastic surgery to get that temporary high of good self-esteem, then you may want to pause and just rethink that. Focus on activities that will give you that high in self-esteem apart from having plastic surgery. As someone who used it for the right reasons and someone who at times used it for the wrong reasons. And I encourage you to be that honest with yourself. Please, let's be kind to Demi in the comments. She's a beautiful woman. And please remember that this is my opinion only. Next up is my video on the beautiful Whitney Houston or go watch my celebrity bingeable playlist. Remember guys to click the link down below in my description box and put in code HILL55 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>